Hello everyone. In this week's tutorial, I go over operators, which are commands used to manipulate variables. The first four operators are traditional mathematical ones, which work the same way with programming as you would with regular math. In particular, the options are variable add variable, variable subtract variable, variable times variable, and variable divided by variable. Note that like with real world math, the divide option will give you a decimal if it does not fit neatly into an integer answer. After these four basic operators, is a random number generator, although it will only pick integer numbers, it will not do decimals. The first number specifies the minimum number possible, and the second number specifies the maximum number possible. The third group is comparators, just like with real-life mathematical comparisons. The first option is number greater than number, the second option is number less than number, and the third option is number equals number. The fourth option is logical Boolean comparisons, which don't have any real-life counterpart. In terms of the traditional mathematics you study at school, but can be thought of as a computer version of what you would hear in English sentences. For example, variable and variable tests if both conditions are true before executing the rest of the code. Just like how the word and means that in English as well. Similarly, the next block, or, tests if only one of the conditions are true before proceeding. It doesn't wait for both. The final logical conditional is called NOT, which, unlike the other ones, does not prevent the rest of the code from executing until conditionals are true. but instead inverts an input and then continues the rest of the code. For example, if a condition is true coming in, it will be false going out and vice versa. The next four blocks are related to strings rather than regular variables. And the first one, join, combines two separate strings so that becomes one string. For example, if the first word joined is hello, and the second word joined is world, it becomes one word, hello world, stored in one string. This is useful for condensing many strings at once, similar to how a list condenses multiple variables at once. The next option is letter number of string. which reports the character and number position along the string. So in the first example, letter one of apple, the output will be A rather than the full word apple. The next option is similar in that it gives only one variable output instead of a string. But the variable it reports is a number rather than a character. So in the example provided, length of apple, you will get the variable five because there are five letters in it. The final option is a conditional rather than a command or statement. and asks if the string contains a specific character and reports true or false depending on the circumstance. The next two options are used specifically for decimals and not integers. And they are variable mod variable, 
which does the divide, but returns an integer remainder instead if the divide does not fit into a neat integer amount. For example, 5 mod 2 will give you 1 because 5 divided by 2 is 2 with a remainder of 1. The option after that is called round and works exactly like rounding does with real life mathematics. For example, round 5.4 will give you 5 and round 5.5 .5 will give you 6. The last option is special functions, which use more sophisticated mathematical functions than simple addition, multiplication, or logical statements. In particular, these options are absolute of input, which gives the absolute value of the number you input. Floor of input, which rounds down the number. Ceiling of input, which rounds up the number. Square root, which returns the square root, i.e. the number that must be multiplied by itself to get the input number. Sign of input, which returns the sign of the given input number and cosine and tangent do the same thing. Arcsine written asin for short returns the degree necessary to get the number you inputted as a sine value. Arc cosine and arc tangent do the same thing just like cosine and tangent do the same thing with sine. The ln function is a natural logarithm which gives you the number you must raise e to the power of to get the number you input. So for example, ln of e equals 1 because e raised to the power of 1 equals e. By similar reasoning, the log option afterward gives you the number you have to raise 10 to the power of to get the number you input as a result. The final two options, e to the power of number and 10 to the power of number, give you the result of raising e to the power of the input number and 10 to the power of the input number. So 10 to the power of 2 would give you 100 as a result. Note that like sine and arcsine are inverses of each other, logarithm and exponential functions are inverses of each other too. Now that I've gone over all the operator functions in Scratch, I can move on to teaching sensing functions next week, which uses physical output from the real world. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative, and make sure to see other tutorial videos, and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.